unbelievable. Two days ago I didn't plan to go anywhere from Thailand and now I'm back to Russia. Welcome to Vladivostok. Long story short, a few days ago I was having a morning coffee with my Russian friend and he told me about a repatriation flight for Russians right from Bangkok to Vladivostok. I didn't even plan to go back Russia so soon, but Vladivostok! I haven't been that far in the east of my country and I decided to take this opportunity. It cost me 27,211 rubles or about $360, which is quite a good price for such flight during this year. A quick ride to Sorunakumi airport, 45 baht only by airport link, and I find myself surrounded by a crowd of Russian people. Such a strange feeling, to be honest. Last time I visited my home was about two years ago, and since then I didn't really have many Russians around me. The flight during pandemic is no different from the experience I had before, except the fact that the airport was quite empty, especially after crossing the border control. My flight was operated by S7 Airlines, and I didn't expect anything extraordinary, but actually that was kinda cool. A new good-looking airplane, comfy seats, tasty dinner. We were kidding about having sandwiches as a snack for 6 hour long flight, but there was something better. I've got chicken rice, vegetable salad, some bread, butter, cheese, fruit and a tiny dessert. Coffee with milk for a good sleep. Oh, and my neighbors were so kind to share a stick of cinnamon and some chocolate with me. Lovely people. Six hours later, we are landing in Knievichi airport, leaving Thailand far behind. Shame to me, leaving a few things unfinished in Bangkok. I still want to share the story of meeting another YouTuber in Bangkok and also share the experience being a true digital park and its co-working space. But for now, checklist for today. Get some cash, get to the downtown of Vladivostok, find a hostel, get a SIM card and have a rest because I was having a flight, overnight flight. So basically I didn't have any sleep and I jumped into a new day. Just got some cash and now I'm taking a train from the airport of Vladivostok to the downtown. The cost of it is about 270 Russian rubles. Now I actually can say welcome to Vladivostok because before it was the airport which is located like 38-40 kilometers from the city and now I'm finally here. This train station in the square looks <laughs> so familiar to me, similar to any other city, surrounded by Russian street food stuff. Uh, a lot of barbecue, shashlik, some chebureks and the rest of the stuff. Also a very important stuff in the train station square is Russian canteen. I think I'll get inside check it out. Have a look. How much does it cost? And maybe have a breakfast there. looks so, so Russian and a lot of Russian food. I'm so excited to actually try it now. Ah, da. And that's how an ordinary Russian canteen looks like. For me it was a little bit expensive, perhaps two reasons together. It's next to a train station and it's also Vladivostok, as everything in the area, like Vladivostok, Khabarovsk, and especially Petropavlovsk, Kamchatsk, and especially Petropavlovsk, Kamchatsky, and the rest of the cities here, they are generally more expensive cities to live here. I'm on the way to get a new SIM card, and honestly, this city already started surprising me. First of all, you see I have 
no mask to my face. Literally nobody, nobody has it here. And second thing that amazes me here is the landscape. Um, a lot of ups and downs. I'm walking a road, just a straight road, and it goes down after hundreds of meters, it goes up again and again and again and again and again. here <laughs> talking to mom and time to go to the hostel I just found one 400 rubles or so or six US dollars as I remember let's check it out Look at this place. It is a kind of capsule hotel. It's a tiny capsule for one person. 400 rubles a night. I also get nice red towel. Of course, a blanket, bed sheets, and some other stuff. I'll show you a room tour later. Now, time to have a rest and do some planning and research about Vladivostok and where to go and what to do here. Have a rest and then go explore the city in the evening, perhaps checking out that square in front of the charge we've seen before. Three hours later. Had a good sleep at the hostel, stayed there for about four, five hours, met a couple of new friends. And now I'm going to just walk around the city and see what can Vladivostok could offer me on a budget on Friday's evening. Um gonna check out the place um, a new friend of mine advised me over there is a sea view and she says that's incredible over there let's see looks like I'm moving in the right direction there are a lot of a lot of locals hanging out behind me and I'm going towards the sea and there's something like an old-style classic entertainment park gotta get closer My goodness, that looks so Soviet. I have no idea how old is this entertainment park, but it looks quite old to me. Everything you can see, every kind of attraction costs more or less 4 US dollars to try. English lesson to me. Should they call such kind of place an amusement park or entertainment park? No idea yet, I gotta learn it. <laughs> looks like this. I'm also quite hungry and I'm about to have my dinner soon but I think I'll leave it behind the camera. It's been quite a long episode, don't you think so? Hope you enjoyed it and going to see more because I'll make more videos while I am staying here in Vladivostok and then moving to the western part of Russia. Thank you for watching and see you next video.